for example there were two governors that came to see me about problem and i don't mind telling saying that the governors of uh, uh um Oyo state and the governor of uh, uh this other state in uh, ondo uh for ex- dementia ravaged buhari could not remember names of governors who visited him on farmers herders clashes welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen Buhari was asked whether he would support state police and regional air force such as Amoteku and Ibubago to stem the tide of clashes and insecurity in the country. President Muhammad Buhari again fumbled for words as his dementia seemed to be worsening when he wanted to recall the names of two governors who visited him at Asurag Villa in Abuja over the farmers herders clashes in your states. Now, let me say this. Concerning this issue, it is not a laughing matter. You know, in Nigeria here, we plead so much. But see, this issue is not a laughing matter. It is the more reason why I find it very, very worrisome. And I think it is worrisome and sickening to the stomach that somebody is having dementia because he's old. And they are bringing another old man some people are saying and singing his praises and massaging his ego and i'm saying who did this to us how can you clearly say that this person is not is not suitable for the job i don't know why nigeria got the mentality that um you know only old people should come out i mean we have given these people a trial not even one we have tried them severally even most of them that we are quite young when they were in the military they've come out and tried in the person of um the sitting president he was actually you know he was at the hands of affairs when he was when he was younger and he was he's ordered nothing yet you cannot see anything nothing so what are you talking about is it not high time we give people of our time people who are referred to the digital age kind of people people who are innovating creative strategic analytical Give them a chance at government. Let them try hands and let them be guided. And when I mean be guided, I don't mean they should become the, you know, um, they should become the, what's it called again? They got on to somebody. No. They should become people of their own. They should bring their innovativeness into politics. We need somebody who is young. Niger, to, to even take care of a family, a family is not, a, is not an easy, I mean, it's not an easy joke. It's not child's play. It's not beans. To take care of a family, a family that is maximum, let's say, at, as in, at worst, you give back to 14, 12 children, then plus father and mother, and the ones that are who are as little as four or three. This is, it is big business. I mean, it needs somebody who is agile. It needs somebody who has the strength. Right now, we don't need somebody who is sitting and who crosses legs and who is going to give information and they bring whatever they like to him and he digests it. Because you can clearly see from what is happening that this man is actually old. There is any information that he's given that he comes out to say. In fact, sometimes they have to repeat it and repeat it. No offense given, but he's actually old. Of course, in our various families if you have such man as a father of course by now you're going to tell him to rest yes that's what you're good you're going to tell him to do you say daddy all you need is just you know you rest and let someone take care of you but yes these people push themselves out to the helms of effect even when they know that they cannot perform well people are pushing them i don't know what for i don't know the political i don't know just because of pocket and you know pocket and stomach infrastructure it is very sickening Sincerely. Let's listen to the news in detail. Please stay with us. In an interview on Channel's television on Wednesday, monitored by Sahara reporters, Buhari was asked whether he would support state police and regional efforts such as Amoteku and Ibubago to stem the tide of clashes and insecurity in the country. He said, Well, I told you what we have done. We met at least four times with the service chiefs and other law enforcement agencies, each meeting taking at least four hours. 
we have discussed thoroughly what to do with the situation. So we discussed on what we understand and we try to secure for leadership at community levels the best intelligence. Because to get that from the local leadership, you have to talk to them. The role of traditional rulers must not be undermined because in their areas, as I said, they know who is who. Their family is not to talk of individuals, so we have so we have to revert to that system for us to have an effective security in the localities. For example, there are two governors that came to see me about the problem. The governors of uh, uh, or your state and the governor of uh, this other state in Undo, not Undo, the other state. I said because the headers were in the forest, let them go and talk to the local leadership while there's a break in communication. The routes they follow, the forest they continue, the forest they confine themselves in. Sahar reporters had in recent past reported how Buhari dementia affects his performance in government and slows down the decision-making process. Sahar reporters in May 2021 reported that Buhari's Western dementia and other undisclosed health challenges were taking a heavy toll on his activity on his ability to effectively coordinate meetings. The president had faltered during a meeting with the security chiefs during that week. Top sources in the presidency had told Sahar reporters that Buhari was not only incoherent but spoke for only a short time. It was learned that he spoke in the same manner when he had a meeting with the head of the European Union delegation to Nigeria and to the Economic Community of West African States, Mr. Keto Carlson, along with his team. The president's health condition is worsening by the day and affecting his handling of national matters, especially on insecurity. At the European Union delegation virtual meeting, he was responding off-key. At a meeting with security chiefs, he was also off-key and spoke little. He was supposed to be at the graduation ceremony at the Nigerian Police College in Kano, but the event has to be postponed because the president was not ready, the source had revealed. Sahar reporters in December 2020 had reported how the inability of President Buhari to make critical decisions on insecurity and the depressed economy had become worrisome to many Nigerians. A situation which his dementia and other undisclosed illnesses he was treating could have contributed to. It had been reported that his medical conditions had forced him to get out of the country at least six times for treatment, spending about 180 days since 2015 when he assumed office in his first term. The fallout says that apart from being unable to attend to urgent national issues and take significant decisions for the country, the president is perceived also not to be in charge of his government. These have been evident in several conflicting actions and rancor within his same government. Now, this is where it all goes sour. When they know, or when this man knows that he can no longer perform, it is going to be recorded in history, not as a coward, but someone who knows that him continuing to be on the seat will continue to put people's life in danger and continue to make the economy plunge into more as in more we are going to be indebted to a lot of people already we're indebted it's going to be recorded at that he do not he's not going to be seen as a coward i just hope he sees that and at least he resigns and of course those who are screaming ogo and you know jagaban they start saying things from our own perspective sincerely okay on this note we have come to the end of the news we say thank you for telling me to listen and until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.